Hey guys, this is Stormy the Capital Z. Welcome back to another audio commentary. This is going to be a match between TH00 versus Falesh right here on Echo Isles. And you can see TH00, the orange humor player, wasting no time sending th those three militias towards Falesh's base. And which this is called a three militia, a very early three militia harass. Well, towerish to be exact. And as you can see, he does see that Padesh dropping his engine over near those creeps to uh, planning to creep them out. But he, Padesh will see that, oh my, TH00 is going for that early tower rush. And this tower rush is quite effective versus Night Elf. Actually, I think it only works versus Night Elves. Well, anyways, well, the main concept of it is <laughs> send all those three militias uh, towards the enemy base. Ma make those towers and power build a lumber mill at your base then just keep pumping up those workers and yeah, in this type of strategy uh, in this type of game I have to say you have to take a tavern hero because your altar will be delayed and you really need to get out the hero quite early a demon hunter coming on from Padesh's side and this guy demon hunter is quite quite rarely seen I think a, uh, a warden can really do a better job versus these workers with that phantom knife and that shadow strike uh, let's see what that demon hunter does anyways and Ancient of War is ready he actually chose to get an archer because it is a, at a quite distant location that Ancient of War and those towers put up uh, over the base of Padesh and the tower is trying oh that archer is trying to take out the tower and that archer did provide to did provide enough distraction for those workers to try to repair this guard tower and and drop this uh, ancient of war over here so that he can make it and try to destroy them anyway she, uh, that uh, oh man team monitor is out and anyways trying to take out those towers did m no, not manage to take out one of them because it got upgraded and now did manage to take out one before it could come up and now trying to, out, trying to take out the other one he does realize that he those work he can do it he cannot do it with those workers doing it uh, repairing it and now uh, shift his attack towards his workers managed to take out two of them probably will take out this third one as well as although he is trying to maze in those maze around in the, uh, those glitches of those towers built in that area you can see he's trying to survive as much as he can I have to point out one thing over here Pradesh has researched oh I have to say learned uh, evasion with his uh, demon hunter that is the reason why uh, those attacks are missing over him so much and he is able to survive this long because he actually cannot survive that long for this, these many towers well there were uh, two of them anyways anyways two more uh, workers coming out from uh, th Triple Zero side and they did manage to take out oh I have to say make th Triple Zero. oh man th make Padesh cancel that moon well anyways this tower will go down over here and this tower rush will result in not well you can say not successful and you can see altar is up and those workers going towards that tavern i have no idea what th00 will take over here two of those ancient of wars are ready and those two ancient of wars can really pump up a uh, many type of units archers or hunters or clad throws as he get to tier two hunters all is also coming up which denotes that we may might be seeing a lot of hunters in the game and right now Padesh wants to creep over here instead of going inside Triple uh, Zero's base. He probably did see it by sending it over his wisp or something. Uh, because his base does seem to be quite blocked. I don't think that uh, Demon Hunter can enter inside. As you can see TH Triple Zero is trying to creep out this place, this gold mine over here and exp also expanding at the same time. Expansion will be needed for him as he uh, is uh, quite behind in the game because of that unsuccessful early game tower rush one more thing I have to point out that that the tower rush did manage to take out three archers but it's no worth because that blade a uh, oh, beastmaster was not out and building kills do not count as experience for the heroes anyways the abyss uh, did see this expansion coming up and that demon hunter is running towards the bay uh, that expansion probably gonna try to take it out Oh yes, I think that this was somewhere here and snared and that detonated. I didn't say that. I'm well, sorry about that. Anyways, and that demon going after the workers instead of the tower. The reason would be that 
if he even if he died or t tries to attack those towers those workers will just massively repair it and will be of no use anyways he did manage to take out two of those workers very good running around the merry go there by that blade ma oh that demon hunter I'm really screwing up with the names over here that a uh, Huntress is out from Paday's side. Two Hunters are out and those Hunters are me just managed to take out those workers. This worker will go down and this Huntress, oh and yes he did go down. Did try to shadow man at the la last second but not successful in saving it. Three more workers coming towards that expansion and probably gonna build that town hall to complete that expansion. No tier 2 coming up from any of the players. Tier triple zero, of course, cannot do it because of uh, that expansion and that will lead our rush. And he set rally of these ancient war who are near that ex expansion. That is the reason those hunters are just going towards it. And seems like the beastmaster bought a few items: a staff, a dust of appearance, and a boots of speed. It didn't manage to catch that one of those hunters which was at low hit points and may just manage to take it out at his had the boots of speed and oh, oh, oh it may it had the boots and he may just be able to take it out he is following it at the same speed as hunters are quite uh, the fast unit it's the hunters are not the units uh, at the average speed units I have to say and it did manage to take out it on time because of that well anyways uh, they'll that water coming in the way anyways the worker was trying to go towards that expansion and he was trying to migrate a few workers towards the expansion but did not manage to because of Padesh's interference in that in the middle of that of that middle place anyways and he's oh my Padesh is actually setting up three towers over here and one tower is ready at the main oh that expansion of tr triple row and Triple O seemed to be wanting to creep over here, although he cannot do it with one Beastmaster. Anyways, he has to back out a bit. He's trying to uh, get his expansion up and ready. His expansion is up and ready with two towers. Third one almost ready. And oh my, he, and right now he realizes that the tower over here is their ancient protector and will be throwing away the rock over there, bombarding away his units, not letting him to come out of the base. Although one cannot do much and oh my, these towers are ready. And you can see the massive number of these Huntresses. No tier 2 yet. Glaive throws coming up. Oh yes, yeah, so one thing I... Bu uh, Oh, pointed out uh, by one mistake was you can actually make live throws at tier one. <laughs> no need for tier two. Ha ha ha. Anyways, I'm not not quite familiar with them as you cannot. Uh, you don't really make live throws in any games. Anyways, right now, oh my, those they these uh, protectors may be able to just hit that goal line. If that goal line is being hit, this may uh, this base's economy may be just screwed over here. That expansion is up and ready, and that will compromise for the ex uh, that gold. Oh, very wise of TH triple zero. He upgrades the keep as at his expansion, as his b main base is under dire jeopardy. Anyway, he's not actually allowing his that beastmaster to come inside the base to try to save it. Beastmaster coming, going towards that expansion, and you can see massive number of towers are being uh, upgraded over here. Arcane walls and blacksmith being dropped behind the end ex expansion, getting them inside the base, and this tower may be, may go down. Yes, in TH triple zero cancels it, and this other one may also go down. Oh my, he is very very screwed over here. He needs to do. I I don't see any way by which he can come back in the game any way except staying inside the base and trying to defend using those towers. And that tower, two, three towers, I have to say over here. Padesh managed to take out three towers and now trying to pounding away those rocks over that, that, oh, over those workers. Managed to take out two of them. That count will be increased to a three and you can see here triple zero hero, oh my, he might just go down. Oh, he's using that TP to get, oh my, very nice there, but here triple zero. He used those, uh, that uh, th last, town hall's last his points, I have to say because the town hall will go down round and it goes down he used uh, the, it to transform all those workers into militias and now teleport all of them to that expansion so that he may will not have to waste all of them and this way these will be getting a mass number of 
oh, mass lumber and TH triple zero actually just running towards uh, Palace's base. I would not know why. Probably gonna harass those moon wells or well, just wisps or something. Well, only with the Beastmaster, I wouldn't agree. Anyways, you can see he did use a scroll of regeneration to heal them, and now dropping a, a, an altar and a lumber mill. Altar? Well, I have no idea why would he needing an altar right now. Oh yes, yes. So sorry about that. He will be leading an altar for a second hero, which his keep is ready. And if that altar comes up ready, he will be getting the second hero up and ready. And now summoning that quill beast, trying to harass away those wisps. All those wisps can just detonate over that beast master and those wisps and those uh, quill beast. I have to say, two of the sunfrost have been sent back to the base, and this main base of TS Triple Zero is fully taken. Oh, down after that lumber mill is down. And oh my, he actually, oh, how does he have that many number of glyph throwers? I really literally haven't seen these many number of glyph throwers by one player. Anyways, the, oh, he's actually getting an Archmig as a second hero. This is quite new. We will be seeing quite new things in this game. As you can see, the game started with, and quite, with a quite, quite different start which is not very commonly used which is very rarely used I have to say anyways those now those glyphs throws pounding away those glyphs over that uh, building up scantum which he'll have to, he have he, he may just have to cancel it oh my he's using that he's using those uh, militias to try to run, try to get it back a bit oh my and those towers <laughs> those ancient protectors are now uh, unrooting and uprooting getting uh, down and probably gonna up, uh, in route or somewhere over here. Archmic is out and he probably uh, well he does uh, made he made, did make that Archmic for um, elementals because I do not see any aura over here. Oh my he did manage to get that scantum up and let's see what he does right now using those militias to try to back out a bit. A sorceress is out, will be, which will be helping him a lot. Although these spellcaster will die to these glyph throwers very, very easily. And right now, that basing being pounded away by those uh, those glyph throwers, and mana being burned. Oh, nice! <laughs> this is a very, very different game, and you ra really, ra rarely see such games over here. And you can see that. Uh, Beastmaster being hit by those hunters and the demon hunter and being forced to go down. Oh, a mortal team is out from his side and trying to repair it, although it will go down. And right now, he's just trying to save his base. Oh my, oh my, I don't see any way how he can actually do it. Beastmaster may just go down over here, gets back, and buys a potion of healing. He heals himself, and now, right now, going towards all those massive number of those glyph throws and those ancient protectors. I I do not know if he may manage to take them down, but it's quite risky. These, these, there are just quite many. There's so many of them. That two mortal teams are out. Oh my! This mortal team, this mortal team can take out those glyphos. Oh, I have to say, ancient protectors very easily took out one of them. He's also using those, oh, he, priests to heal them, sorcerers to slow them and stuff. Anyways, now oh, attacking them with those militias. And he may just be able to pull it off. Very, very awesome there by TS Triple Zero. Well, he is doing it quite successfully. He did manage to take out all of those ancient protectors. And yeah, after this goes down, all. Uh, and yes, there you go, all. Anyways, now he will be trying to pound away those glyph throwers. And this is quite mission successful for TS Triple Zero because he does get managed to save himself. And, and as I said, for this expansion uh, is ready at the main base, main base. And one of those uh, got level up. I think that Beastmaster did because I heard uh, Hunters die. 